Welcome to the channel. My name is Matthias. Today we're going to talk about Immortal Hulk issues 31 to 33, written by Al Ewing. So I've been picking up compilations of this run, but sort of out of order, so I don't know what happened in the previous issues. I mention this because this story starts off with the Hulk battling against Zemnu. He's a pretty obscure villain, but for those who don't know, he was the first character in Marvel to carry the title of Hulk. He seldomly popped up in my comic book collection, and I always thought he was pretty lame. But in this story, Al Yoon does a fantastic job with this villain. Also, Zemnu is in cahoots with this new villain that I find to be fascinating. His name is Dario Agar, who is a millionaire minotaur who is the owner of Roxxon. I think he started off as a Thor villain. The thing is, as the battle rages on between Hulk and Zemnu, Hulk's allies start turning on him because Zemnu has weird mind control powers. Actually, I'm not 100% sure. It's very possible that he has hypnotic powers, but the thing is, with help of Dario Agar, he's been doing a series of live streams. He's using his powers in such a way that he's making everyone forget the existence of Hulk in the first place. It's a really interesting concept what Al Ewing is going for because what Zemnu is actually doing is retconning the past and actually putting himself as this character that has always been a hero that was also a TV star and had a children's program that everyone seems to remember very fondly. Things get so bad that when Hulk reverts back to Bruce Banner Bruce forgets the existence of Hulk himself. So now we have the Jade Giant trapped within Bruce Banner's mind. He can't get out and he wants to take down Zemnu once and for all. And what happens in Hulk's psyche is that what we're going to call Hulk Prime comes across and meets World Breaker Hulk. And we discover that there's a whole community of Hulk variants within Bruce Banner's mind. It's freaking hilarious that Mr. Fixit, within Bruce Banner's mind, instead of looking like a Hulk, he looks like 1970s Stan Lee. While all this is going down, we have Zemnu and Dario Agar planning out how they're going to take over the world. And we get this very bizarre and disgusting moment where Zemnu tells Dario Agar, look, I need the feed. Dario calls in one of his employees, gives him over to Zemnu. And these really weird tentacles come out of Zemnu's back and... Instead of having a mouth on his face, he folds over in a very weird way and his mouth is on his back. It's so freaking bizarre. And the way it's presented by the artist, it's very unsettling. So we go back to Hulk's psyche and we discover that Hulk Prime has to liberate Bruce Banner's inner child. The very young Banner is totally mesmerized sitting in front of a TV watching the fake Zemnu TV show. So Hulk destroys the TV, liberates the young Banner. Bruce Banner is able to remember the existence of Hulk. Again, we get one of the most disgusting transformations to Hulk ever. I feel like the series tries to one-up itself each time Banner changes into Hulk. In this case, Hulk emerges from his mouth and just obviously destroys Bruce Banner's body. So what happens next is that we have Zemno. He's still hungry and he actually eats Dario Agar. He traps him. Dario's like, hey, we're allies. And Zemno's like, yeah, I don't care. I'm taking over this world. And at this moment, you're totally redundant. Dario Agar barely survives being eaten by Zemno. But boy, he's severely messed up after the encounter. Because the thing is that when Zemnu feeds on someone, he consumes part of them, but at the same time, he converts them into one of his minions. And within the interior of his body, he converts them into these weird cyborgs. Zemnu is a freaking bizarre character. So what happens is Hulk and his allies go to Roxxon's headquarters. 
they're going to take the battle to Dario Agar and Zemnu. Hulk actually finds a half-dead Dario Agar lying on the floor. And he's like, what the hell happened to you? I was supposed to do that to you. Then Hulk confronts Zemnu and we get this really cool moment where Hulk actually loses control and the one that takes the wheel is Worldbreaker Hulk. He beats the brakes off Zemnu. But at the same time, Hulk is very startled. He didn't know that his other personalities could take control like that. After defeating Zemnu, his hold on everyone is cut off. Everyone's able to remember Hulk again. While all this is going down, I didn't mention that one of Hulk's allies is zombie Rick Jones. He has come back from the dead and he's flying around and he has like weird gamma energy powers now. He actually goes to Dario Agar while Hulk is fighting. And something's up with Rick Jones. Like, he seems to be a little bit evil. He has like the secret agenda. We do not know what he's trying to arrange with Dario. And at the moment, Dario Agar can't even talk. But we're going to leave this video here. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time. Bye.